Yep. Yeah! So far so good. Just in case we roll over at three miles an hour, I'm a completely functional three-point hearts. Excellent, excellent. Windshield washer fluid. <laughs> it's huh. going to have solid brake line running to all the plexiglass windows. Oh. Here we go. So now with this on, if you move slightly, your shoulders actually do the turning. And this bar right here is where the guns go. Won't be able to shoot people out of the trees, but as long as they're right there to right there. We have the other guns and all your little people behind you, so. That's where the flamethrowers come in, clearing them out of the brush. And then off each gun, it's going to be a feed line going outside where the ammo is actually going to be out, out of the turret, so it's not like bouncing into the roll cage in here. Um, those are going to be. How are you going to load it? Uh, there's a ladder in there. We're gonna have to go back to the base camp and pull the ladder up and somebody's actually gonna have to crawl up that, dump the ammo in, crawl back down, remove the ladder just like they did in, uh... It's a terrible reference, but in the Matrix when they had to reload those robot walkie things. Hmm. How big are, how big are we gonna make the hoppers? Uh, each, for each gun is gonna be one 50 cal ammo box, uh, which is gonna be a force-fed hopper actually placed inside it with no top, so just be able to pour in a bulk amount. That way it's fair, so we're not just sitting out there sitting at the other team's fort, just like dumping guppy upon guppy upon guppy, and I know, it's not the Keeler way. <laughs> we will overshoot them. <laughs> with two guns, we should be able to keep up with Keeler's fire rate. Do you want a view from inside the turret? Sure. Yeah, the front's gonna have to be raised and the yeah. back lowered. Yeah, not, it doesn't bang too much though. Yeah, right there. So you said you, uh, you love this red color you did? The red's being changed. Uh, Carl and myself decided to put it on so it didn't rust overnight because this was all bare metal. Oh, okay. Once we started this, it just kind of spread. Uh, so you need to paint it white now and then, and then change the color to something else after okay. that for a primer? Or? We are going to reprime it and get everything coated quite a few times because we had a few paintball. We shot it, test shot it the other night and just the red on top of bare metal because it's not primed. It's just, it flakes right off. But uh, it's going to be completely reprimed and a couple coats of that. And we haven't decided on a color yet, but it's not going to be stop sign red because that's... We have to put in the radio system to talk to ourselves and everybody outside of the tank. We're going to be able to scan the other team's frequently, frequency so we can kind of cheat. Um, we're going to have intercom between the two front, the navigator and driver, as well as the gunner in the back. We're going to be able to communicate to ourselves via intercom. We're going to have the scanner for talking to the other teams. We're going to have uh, our own radio system just to talk to the refs. Yeah, the navigator's going to have a drop-down, nothing video game-like, but a drop-down uh, dry erase board with a gridded map of the field so we'll be able to uh, navigate our the rest of our team to different parts of the field and whatnot and we'll be able to tell our team where they're getting fire from and whatnot. So this could be the team command center kind of. Mobile command post. Thanks G.I. Joe. Yes. A little helicopter's flying off of here. Um, we'll do that next year. <laughs> the aerial reconnaissance. Are gonna I think somebody in Virginia is working on a remote control helicopter that could launch from the roof there. That's a terrible idea, because you know where I see that happening? Liftoff, great. 
yeah, right into the, nav the driver's face. Or, or the guy shoots it down with the SP1s. <laughs> <laughs> that goes a thousand dollars. Aren't you going to be in there? No, I'm the driver. See, you know, oh, it says oh. right here. Corey. And scratched off paint. Corey's side. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, Pretty yeah, sweet. The, the navigator, Carl, is going to have... Is that an extra gun spot there on the by the door knob? Here, um, this is an extra Northeast Ohio rust spot. Oh, uh -huh, okay. I thought it was where the driver could, like, if he had to, you know... So I was about to get carjacked and... No, that's going to be where somebody so. gets the one shot just right, or I don't see him come up and go... and light everybody up inside. No, huh. that's going to... That was primed before we did anything. No, it's going to be covered in sheet metal again. No. So you got anybody in the unit picked to be the gunner yet, then? Um, we did have a candidate prior... No, I shouldn't say prior. We did have a candidate, Ryan Miller, from our little group was supposed to be doing it, but he's getting married. We all know what getting married does to people. Makes him stop playing paintball, Ryan. <laughs> That's gonna make the cut. <laughs> uh, so Ryan's not. So so Ryan's not gonna come out. He's he's is his wedding on no, like he's July, just, on North versus South. I mean, he's been consumed with his wedding. So like. Nothing bad against him. Just yes. Don't let that happen to you guys. You know, explain to her in the prenuptial that you are going to be allowed to play paintball. That she is second to paintball. That's pretty rough. Well, not second to paintball. Just that at least one Saturday, if she's going to be, if she's does, she's, she does something she likes, you should be able to do something you like with paintball. So. Right? Sorry, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryan, what Ryan didn't think of this prior. We'll just have a whole video named Ryan, a discussion whole, of Ryan whole, marriage. A whole video named Sorry Ryan. Sorry Ryan. Yeah. About, about video. About that.